Y'all, God is so good. God is so good. So when we were in LA, somebody blessed my family and I, and they sent a donation of a hundred dollars, right? And I was like, man, this is such a huge blessing, right? And I was so excited. Then let me tell you how the enemy works, right? A couple minutes later, I was ordering food for one of my sons and then I clicked something. I thought it was something else and it, boom, and immediately took out $96 out of my account, right? Almost that full $100. And I was freaking out and I was so upset. I was so mad at myself and I tried to dispute it, right? Through PayPal, whatever. And at first, like it didn't work. And so then I called them and I'm like, no, look, and I... I explained things to them and I was honest and I was like, look, this, this is what I did, blah, 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 blah. And I prayed on it and I prayed on it and I was like, God, I know this is my fault, right? This is my mistake. Like I did this, I messed up and all this other stuff. And I was repenting and doing all this stuff and I was stressing. Okay. I have been stressing so bad because God called me to do something and I did it right. I used like all the money almost that we had in savings And I'm like, God, you know, did I not hear you right? Right? Like I was doubting in these things when I know his timing is perfect. I know God's timing is perfect. And I was doubting in all these things. And I'm like, okay, God, my cell phone bill is due. Like my cell phone bill was due on the 6th and I pushed it back till now. And it's the 14th. Like, what am I going to do, God? And I started trying to think of all these things, how I could hustle up some money, right? Like how I could go do this or I could go do that or whatever and make some money. And I'm like, God... But I don't want to go back to the things that you've pulled me up out of. Like you literally saved me from these things. And God had told me in my spirit that I would never have to do those things again. That follow him, stay close to him basically, right? And that I would never have to do those things. And there was a point in time where I was going through it. And I was like, God, you told me this. Like you pulled me up out of this. Like you brought me up out of this. And he just reminded me of that tonight and how he pulled, he did. He pulled me up out of it and he came through. Well, earlier tonight, I was like, God, what am I going to do? You know, your word says that we're the head and not the tail above only never beneath that your chosen ones, your people, like we will never be seen begging for bread. So what am I going to do? You know, I have extra bills, not just my cell phone bill coming out today. What am I going to do? Like, I don't do, I don't like this paycheck to paycheck or living, you know, just day to day. Like that's not how it's supposed to be. And I'm just, I'm going, I'm talking to God. Right. And I was so upset and I was losing hope and I'm laying in bed And then I hear this prophetic word and this message come across. And at first I doubted, I'm going to be, I'm going to be real. I doubted. And I was like, you know what? No, like I prayed about it and I received the word. I received the word and I started praying with her. Right. And we started binding things and y'all, I went to go put my phone on the charger and I got the message. I got the message where they told me the case was closed. The merchant didn't respond. So they refunded all of my money back to me. So now when they pull my cell phone bill out of my bank account, it's not going to overdraw me. Like I'm not going to be overdrawn. I'm going to be able to pay my cell phone bill. The other bills that were due, I've already been taken out. So that's cleared. And I'll be able to actually have extra money in my bank account to chill until the next bill comes up or whatever, you know, and it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing because God will absolutely come through. And that was something she was talking about that God can change things in literally 2.5 seconds. And I know that I know he can change things in an instant. I know that he can do this, but the enemy is a liar and the enemy will try to come in and snatch your blessings. But God says, no, God said, no, that when a thief be found, they must return back seven times what was stolen. And right now we bind the enemy. We bind Satan and all other demonic spirits and names that he goes by. We bind all spirits, all demonic spirits right now in Jesus' name. I bind all spirits of setback and delay. I bind all spirits of guilt and shame and condemnation. I bind all spirits of unbelief and doubt. I bind all spirits of the Antichrist. I bind all spirits of poverty and lack. Now, Father God, and I declare that we are the head and we rebuke the spirit of the tail in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, I ask and pray that you forgive us if we have cheated or mishandled our money in any kind of way. Father God, I thank you for providing in Jesus name. Y'all, God is so good. God is so good. And as I'm sharing this testimony, I pray it encourages somebody because it's also encouraging me to hear it and be reminded that, hey, yes, God pulled me through it before. And if God pulled me through it before, I know he'll do it again. And guess what? If he did it for me, he'll do it for you too, because he loves you also. And he is our provider. He is the good shepherd. He is the light. He is the door. He is the vine. He is the great I am. And he 
is making a way. And he told me that. He told me he's going to make a way. He's told me it's going to be all right. He's told me not to worry about finances and to trust him. And it's so hard because for so long, I've tried to do things in my own strength. And as I'm saying this, I'm realizing it more than something I already knew. But trying to do it on my own strength. And Father God, I repent for trying to do things in my own strength. I for, for, Forgive me, God, for relying on what I felt like was my own abilities because it's not. It all comes from him. Everything comes from him for no, like no matter what. No, I'm telling you, there were yet days, not just days, there were years, years where I prayed for the freedom that God has given me and the blessings that God has given me. And there's some days where it's hard where I'm like, God, I like, I guess it's an old habit to want to try to go hustle and make some money when God said, no, I want you to be still. I want you work for me now. I want you to do what it is that I've called you to do. I want you to do what it is that I've told you to do. I want you to raise these children. I want you to be happy. And I want you to trust me and trust what I say. And when I say something, that's what it is. Because it is. When God says something, that's what it is. When he opens a door, no man can close it. When he closes a door, no man can open it. And God can literally change things in your life in an instance, like a moment. You can go from absolutely nothing to millions of dollars in your bank account, thousands of dollars in your bank account, whatever, sick to healthy. He can do it. And he does do it. He still does it. And he's doing it now. And I'm sharing my testimony because if he did it for me, he's going to do it for you. It's okay. Stay in his word, read his word and talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him because he is so good. No, I literally, I, I feel like I could go in and rest now and actually get some good sleep. I, I mean, I, I went from worrying because I truly felt like my bank account was going to be overdrawn and how was I going to be able to do all these things for God providing what I needed in the right moment at the right time so I know that when I wake up in the morning, I'm good. My children are good and I'm good. He came through. Just like he always does. As your sister in Christ, I love you. God bless you. Shalom.